We started by looking at a money stream that doesn't earn interest. Then we looked at regular deposits that earn interest. But rather than regular deposits, what if the money came in continuously over time? We're going to look at interest earning continuous streams. Two formulas that we need to know with these uh, interest earning continuous streams. One is if we're interested in the future value or the amount of income realized at the end of an investment. The formula for the future value is going to be e to the r capital T integrated from 0 to capital T of the function that represents that regular income stream times e to the negative rt dt. And if we're interested in the present value, of an investment, what we're saying is the amount needed to invest now as a lump sum to grow to the same future value. Remember, with the future value equation, money was coming in throughout all of that time. When we're talking about the present value, we're saying, how much lump sum money would I need right now to invest and forget about it in order to equal that same larger amount? The way we calculate the present value is we take the integral from 0 to t, capital T, of our function that represents the income stream of e to the negative rt dt. What's nice about these two formulas is we can use the present value and future value to make important business decisions. Let's say that a company is considering the purchase of a $65,000 machine. That will create a continuous money stream of $13,000 per year for six years. Now, when I call that a continuous money stream, that means it doesn't all come in at the end of the year. That means that 13,000 continuously comes in throughout the entire year, and that happens for six years. If the income can be invested, at 8% interest, should they buy it? Well, to make this decision, we're going to go through several steps. The first step I'm going to be interested in is, what is the money stream with no interest? In other words, will the machine just make enough money to pay for itself? Well, if we want to know that, that's a non-interest bearing money stream. That's just the integral from 0 to the end of the six years of the $13,000 it brings in each year over time. 
Well, that integral is just 13,000 times t integrated from 0 to 6. And so we can plug in 13,000 times 6 and subtract 13,000 times 0. And when we do, we find out this income from the machine is going to be $78,000. That's the income from the machine. In other words, this $65,000 investment is going to turn into $78,000. It seems like it's a really good idea, and we should do it. But that money stream doesn't just sit there. It's also going to earn interest, which means it's going to be worth more than $78,000. So let's find the future value of the investment with interest. We're going to do that with our future value formula, which was e to the interest rate, which is 0 0.08 times time, which was six years, integrated from 0 to the end of the investment, which is six years, of that $13,000. But the interest earned is going to be e to the negative r, which is 0 0.08 times time dt. We can, we can take this integral. Um, the integral of e to the stuff is just going to be e to the stuff. And then because of the u substitution, we'll end up dividing by that negative 0 0.08. So we'll have the 13,000 divided by 0 0.08, and it's going to be negative. But then we also have to multiply by e to the, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out. 6 times 8 is 0.48. And we're going to integrate this from 0 to 6. So plugging that in, we're going to get, I'm going to pull that negative out front, negative e to the 0.48 times 13,000 divided by 0.08 times e to the negative 0.08 times 6. And then we'll subtract, subtracting a negative. Remember that negative we pulled out front makes it a plus e to the 0.48 times the 13,000 over 0.08 times e to the negative 0.08 times 0. Plugging that into my calculator, we end up with $100,112.09. This is the value from the machine and the interest. So this is looking like a really good business deal right now. I could invest $65,000, and at the end of the six years, I'll have $100,000. This looks like a good idea. Until we look at the present value. Let's look at the present value of the money stream. Remember, the present value is equal to the integral from 0 to the end of the time, which is 6, times the money stream, which is 13,000, e to the negative 0.08, the interest rate, times time dt. And we know that this is going to be e to the stuff. So it's going to be e to the negative 0.08t. And then we have to divide by the derivative of that stuff because of the u substitution, which gives us a negative 0.08 with the 13,000 on top. And we're going to integrate that from 0 to 6 years. Well, plugging that in, that's going to be negative 13,000 divided by 0 0.08, e to the negative 0 0.08 times 6. And then we'll subtract the negative, which turns into a plus. 13,000 divided by 0 0.08, e to the negative 0 0.08 divided by, or sorry, times 0. And when we plug all of that in, we end up with $61,947.70. That's the present value, which means that's the amount to invest now to earn that same future value.
which means right now I could take $61,947 and put it in the bank into this investment and come back in six years and I will still have earned that $100,000 future value. Which means the question really is, do I want to pay $65,000 to earn it or do I want to pay $61,000? Which one of those in investments do I want to make if they both are going to result in the same $100,000? Should they buy the $65,000 machine? Well, I would rather pay $61,000 than $65,000. So no, rather than paying $65,000, they should invest the present value, $61,947.70, instead saving the company if I were to subtract 65,000 minus 61,947.70, I saved $3,052.30 by not buying the machine, giving me the same return on the investment. But what if the machine goes on sale? for $60,000, 5,000 off. Should they buy it? Well, now that the machine is $60,000, now the decision is do I pay $60,000 or do I pay $61,000? Both of those are present values. Well, I can see that it'd be better to pay the $60,000. So now, yes. They should buy the $60,000 machine because now they save, if I were to subtract 60,000 from, from the present value of 61,947, they're saving $1,947.70. Over the investment. The present value helps me decide should I invest this money now as a lump sum or should I spend it because it's going to create more money? It's your turn to practice these interest earning money streams. Take a look at the assignment and let your instructor know if you have any questions.